Hi guys, it's Miss Dana. Um, I've finally been able to complete the tutorial on how to do the freedom quilt. It's pretty easy. Um, it's gonna take time and patience, but I feel like all of you guys can do it. Um, please ask your parents for help if you need anything. And if they need anything, please have them call me or text me. Um, I appreciate you guys' patience and I really appreciate your prayers when I've been so sick. So thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you guys on Monday. These are the supplies you will need. Pretty easy stuff. You will turn over your paper and you will start to color in with pencil on the back of your paper from top to bottom over the design. You will then flip over your paper and you will tape it to the sides of your black paper. You will then start to trace the entire design over the black paper with your pencil. Make sure that you get every line so that it transfers very smoothly. Take your time, there is no rush, and there's always extra paper if you need it. This is what it will look like on your black paper. It will be a perfect replica of your design. Now on to the next color. You get the green and you trace the entire thing again. Make sure you trace everything so you can see where you're gonna to need to cut. This is what it looks like. I labeled the yellow colors so I can know which one I need to keep. The green color, I cut out and I make sure not to cut any pieces of that. This is what it looks like after I get finished taking all the yellow pieces away. You may need to turn over your paper and re-add some of the pencil coloring. Now it's time for the yellow. Do the same thing as you did with the green and the black. And after you're finished, label the green parts. Cut out all the yellow parts for your puzzle piece. This is what it should look like. Now the fun part. You take your pattern and you start to glue your pieces where they need to go. Slowly your quilt will start coming together. Take your time, there is no rush. Here I added the green and then here is the yellow. This is what it looks like in comparison to its original design. I then cut out the name of that quilt and I put it at the bottom. Mission complete, your piece for the freedom quilt is done. That was it guys. If you did not um, get a package because you were not at school last week, um, it's pretty easy to cut those pieces of construction paper. I will also add a link to the papers that I used and so you could pick your own if you weren't there. Um, just look up for that in the same email that I send this in. Thank you guys and I can't wait to see you. I missed you all. Have a good rest of your week.